Hi everyone, this is Abhishek here and welcome back to my channel. Last week I have given homework to my students, those who have enrolled my complete CCNA course and the homework was just to configure this lab and configure default routing on it. Let's see whether my students have able to configure this default routing lab or not. So one student have submitted the lab and his name is Danis. Okay. And I'm going to check whether this lab is correct or not. Let's see. So I'm going to open the router. Let's get into the privilege mode and here I'm going to run the command. So running config that will show you all the configuration has been set to this router. So he has configured a DHCP pool. I didn't ask him to configure DHCP pool, but this topic I have already configured previously. So he has also configured DHCP pool. That sounds good because if you do experiment, then only we're going to learn lots of things, right? So he has configured DHCP pool for all of these four network on a single router that is router number one. Very good. Let's go next. Sounds good. And here he has assigned the interface port number uh, FS 0 by 0 10.0.0.1 .0 means this port okay correct IP address and on the second port he has assigned 192.168.10.1 okay very good means IP configuration is also done correctly in this router. If I go next he has set the root as IP root 0.0.0, .0, .0 that is default routing and 10.0.0.2 okay very good means whatever traffic I am receiving to this router forward all this traffic to the next router okay means this configuration is also correct so i believe all the configuration he has done correctly now let's see first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to check whether this computer is able to communicate with this computer or not if it is able to communicate means configuration is done correctly first of all let's see whether this computer is able to receive the ip address from this router or not because he has configured DHCP on this particular one router. IP configuration and as you can see, he is able to receive the IP address from the router. Very good. Now let's see the IP address is 192.168.40.2. Command prompt ping 192.168.40.2 hit enter. So first of all, I will get request timeout. And if configuration is not correct, means this computer cannot ping. Hence, the configuration is correct. That's the reason we are getting the reply from the computer available on the fourth network. It means Dennis has successfully configured default routing and he has also configured DHCP. So Dennis has learned how to configure DHCP, how to configure default routing and many more things he is also going to learn in the upcoming days. So if you too want to learn Cisco CCNA from the very basics to the advanced level, make sure to join our complete Cisco CCNA course. Link is given in the description section below. Register on our website, attend the free webinar where you can ask me all of your doubt. Expecting all of you guys to attend the webinar, make sure register it. It is absolutely free of cost and I will see you inside the course.